Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I'm in my kitchen and actually I'm just here to yeah, get rid of the dishes and put them back where they belong to. But um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about my weekend. What did I do? Well, first thing, you can see I'm missing something. It was time to shave. So yeah, basically I was doing this this morning and also... I was cleaning the whole apartment and it is so crazy because it actually felt like like something good for me. So I was listening to music and I was doing the dishes and I was cleaning. You know how cleaning works. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> but I just enjoyed those three hours that it probably took to make everything smooth again after last week where I was not able to clean due to the fact that I was too tired, unmotivated after all the Germany trip. But yes, and also today was a very beautiful day. I am a bit sad that I did not go outside. We have currently minus one or minus two degrees, but we had so much sunlight. And when I was cleaning, I had basically did not even wear a shirt because the sun and the heat on my skin felt so good that I just felt like, okay, nope, we are doing this naked well not fully naked so yes i was wearing pants don't worry um yeah okay and besides this well actually i have done my swedish homework for today i felt a bit confused with the questions because i had to record a video basically um, with a maximum of five minutes where i answer four questions and the questions were my rights and um what is the opposite of rights? Like when you're at work, you have to do things. Um, oh, now I forgot the word. But you know what I mean? Like I have to work from seven to... Hmm, those are the... In Swedish, it's schuldigkeiter. I'm... <laughs> How can I forget the English word now? But okay, so I had to do those questions and answer them. And I struggled with one question because the question was, what is freedom for me? But like, okay, there is, it is not so hard for me to just tell in general what i think is freedom but freedom in regards to my working life i really don't know so how i tried to describe it was basically that i think freedom and rights are pretty close in the working life in real <laughs> in real life outside of work i think freedom and your rights to do things are not the same thing but in the working environment i think they are pretty close but yeah so i was talking about things like that and i just felt like okay some of the questions are really philosophical but of course my swedish i don't know i struggled a bit but we will see how it goes there's like a pointing system so they will give me a certain amount of points on the video that i did i have no idea if i'm in the middle very bad or very good but it's yeah like i don't care about the points that i get because this is my practice i do it for myself and not for for a certain certificate or anything because i have work and i am learning swedish basically every day at work yeah okay so as you can see i'm not able to do talking and putting away the dishes at the same time of course yeah um but besides the homeworks and some basic things that i do every weekend like talking to my grandma and things like that um i actually had to cut the video about my arthritis up till this morning so i started writing the script on the friday where it was supposed to be the day that i was doing it and then I felt like, okay, I need more time. So I was working basically five hours on Saturday to write the script. And now today, this morning, I did the video because um, I had to redo it. Yesterday, I already made the video. But then I have realized that my eyes were moving like crazy because my setup on reading from the screen, from the teleprompter, basically, were just... It was not as good as the setup that I had now in the video. So that's why I was redoing it this morning. And of course, I had to cut the whole thing, include certain, yeah, small memories that I thought were, yeah, at least a bit nice to give some context. 
and well i really don't know how good the video did because it is still not published yet but one thing that i really felt like i wanted to include but i fa um, i failed due to not having any uh, yeah videos of it so far is the fact like how i really feel in a daily life with arthritis because of course i can record myself like trying to open a bottle and things like that but it is basically staged to have a good real perspective i would need a person to who films me or i would need to place my camera somewhere and let it run the whole day and especially in the morning i was like we don't talk about that but yeah so i really think like it's always getting better in the evenings but i don't know maybe i can show it okay that's too easy to unwrap um but yeah there are i think i still want to make a video where i really take you on a day with pain with my arthritis but yeah i don't really know how to do it yet so we will see when i have the best idea and how to do it yes okay so besides this oh yeah one thing wait a second okay so i was already telling you guys in did, did i say it in the in yesterday's video i bought those things right here from oomph but this time the kebab and this was the one i tried already like the, it, i think it was the first thing i bought from the company and yesterday evening i made it again and this is awesome like wow this is really really good even like i messed up actually how to how to make it the right way because i was basically putting in wet rice with the frozen things at the same time so there was not really a chance for the thing to get the crisp but still it tasted so good and uh, all the um the f like the the powders what is it oh my god english you know what i mean like all the ingredients all the things they put onto this vegetarian thing perfect like this is amazing i love it and i'm happy that i have another one i still have the barbecue thing that i have to try but yeah this is going to be a, another video so i just wanted to tell you it is the spiced kebab which is really good yeah um besides this well <laughs> i really don't think oops yeah of course flip the camera lj well <laughs> <laughs> no so i really don't think i have anything else left to say today besides that the roads are really really icy so i'm looking forward to not fall tomorrow yeah well 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 and as always it is a sunday so i'm planning on making a pasta salad for the next work days but it's going to be fine so okay with that said i hope you had a wonderful day and we will see each other in tomorrow's video Bye-bye.